afternoon. I'm Susan Denser, the Editor-in-Chief of Health Affairs. Uh, we are the nation's leading health policy journal and increasingly we hope to be the globe's leading health policy journal. Uh, we do publish a number of articles on uh, global health and encourage many of you to get to know us if you do not already. I'm delighted to be here with you this afternoon moderating this event on innovation to catalyze development, leveraging research and foreign assistance. We have a lineup of terrific speakers uh, here this afternoon. We're going to proceed down the normal uh, course of most of these events. Each of the speakers is going to be offering some opening comments. We'll engage in some dialogue among the panel, and then we'll open it up very much to engagement with all of you in the audience, which is usually the best part of these events anyway. We are really going to cover a fair amount of ground uh, this afternoon, but we want to make clear that there really are three essential points that we want to leave everybody with. One of uh, them is, of course, a, a, probably a perspective that there is universal buy-in here in this room, to, which is that as we approach the whole uh, task of reforming foreign assistance, most of us will agree we need a whole government approach to foreign aid with all the relevant agencies, USAID, et cetera, participating in a coordinated international development strategy. Uh, we all, I think, probably are here because we all believe that research has to be a key component of foreign assistance and foreign assistance reform. And it will help us maximize the return that we will get on US taxpayer investments in foreign assistance. And also, I think there's probably universal buy-in that agencies like USAID and indeed USAID itself plays a unique role in international development research and that this needs very much to be supported and nurtured by policymakers and others and factored very much into foreign assistance reform. So those are the key points that we uh, want to make sure uh, everybody covers, but as we say, we will be uh, engaging far afield on some other topics as well. Uh, let me introduce the speakers briefly. We uh, are going to be joined uh, uh, probably about midway through today by one who is not here at the moment, and that's Tom Khalil. I'll go ahead and introduce him now, and then when he joins us, we can just uh, integrate him right into the conversation. Tom, as many of you will know, is the Deputy Director for Policy for the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy and Senior Advisor for Science, Technology, and Innovation for the National Economic Council. So he will be joining us, we hope, shortly. We're going to hear in this order, first from Dr. Maura O'Neill, who's the Senior Counselor to the Administrator and Chief Innovation Officer at the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID. And in the, uh, she has a great background. I encourage you to reference all of the bios that are in your packet. Uh, but as you will uh, come to understand, Dr. O'Neill has focused over the course of her career on creating public policy and entrepreneurial solutions for some of the most difficult problems that we face as a globe, from energy to education and so on. We will then hear from Corey Casper, who is currently an assistant member in the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Public Health Sciences and Clinical Research Divisions of the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, Washington. He's also Associate Professor of Medicine, Global Health, and Epidemiology at the University of Washington. His research is aimed at understanding infections as a cause and a complication of cancer. And at the Hutchinson Center, he directs the Uganda Program on Cancer and Infectious Diseases, which he founded in 2004. And then we'll hear from Jeff Sturgio. Uh, Jeff is the President and the Chief Executive Officer of the Global Health Council, which is the world's largest membership alliance of public health organizations and professionals dedicated to saving lives by improving health worldwide. Uh, and uh, Jeff uh, was a former colleague of mine. I just recently stepped down from the chairmanship of the Global Health Council Board, and so I can testify to his enormous uh, grasp of these issues and the very important contributions he and the Global Health Council are making to this sphere. So with that, let me turn things over to our first speaker, Dr. Maura O'Neill. 